Hey, Beachbody coaches. Okay, so in this little segment, I want to talk to you guys about overcoming objections. And there's one way that I really want to focus on right now. Um, there will be a lot of objections. And some objections, it's just going to be hard. Sometimes people just kind of want to fight it out with you, as weird as that sounds. Sometimes people want to say, like, well, I heard this, and I heard that, and I heard that. Okay, I'm going to help you guys to get over these objections. The first type of objection is when people say, you know what, like let's say, I just don't have the money for that right now. And the best thing, the best kind of, um, I guess kind of way you can think about this, I heard this from a coach, who was it that I heard it from? Ah, I totally forgot. Oh my gosh, I feel bad that I'm blanking on her name. Jessica Pasola, I think it's Jessie Pasola. Yeah, she's on Lindsay Stay's team, I think. But anyway, um, I heard it from her, and it was um, feel, felt, find is the three Fs, the three Fs, the three Fs that you can remember when you're kind of combating or like um, rebuttal, coming up with a rebuttal to these people's issues. So like if somebody says, I just don't really have the money for Shakeology or a challenge pack right now, you can say, I totally understand how you feel. Okay. And noting, I get it. It does seem like a lot of money. I felt that way too, before I found out that really I already budgeted for Shakeology because it's a meal replacement and it's 430 or if you're a coach, 350 a day. And so when I thought about it that way and I thought about the nutrients I'm getting and that it's three something a day when I pay that much for a latte almost every day at work, I thought, oh, I could totally afford this. It's so much more beneficial for me to have that daily dose of nutrition than it is for that latte. So then I realized I totally have already budgeted for that as a meal and not even a drink. And so what I found is that, you know, I did have the money for it. It was already in my weekly food budget or whatever. So that's really hard for somebody to go back and go, okay, well, I still don't have the money for it. You know, everybody has drinking a latte or paid for a Coca-Cola or something like that. And if we can kind of show the value and not just this price tag and that you're relating to them that I totally get that. I understand. I felt that way too. But what I found was this after learning whatever you learned. Okay. So that works for price. It works for, um, <clears throat> I heard like when people say, well, I heard from somebody else that they drink it for a week and it really upset their stomach or something. You can say, I totally understand how you feel. I tend to believe everything my friends say too, because I really trust them, but everyone is totally different. And what I found when I was doing my research and looking up YouTube videos is that people have seen tremendous results from this, not only in weight loss, but it's cleared up rosacea. It's helped with thyroid disease. Um, it's helped with digestive problems like leaky gut. I actually know someone personally that it's helped uh, them with that. And so what I found is that it is actually very beneficial. I do think it, it depends on the person. Would you be willing to give it a try? Or something like that. Would you be willing to try if I sent you some samples? Or something like that. So you're not saying like, well, that's stupid. What, what does that person know? Or da, 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 da. You know, you're saying, I understand. I understand where you would take that. Here's what I know and here's what I found. Okay. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think of another objection. Like maybe um, I don't think I'm, I'm fit enough to do these workouts. And I would say I totally get how you feel. I felt that way too. I was so scared to do Insanity Max 30 and I did it, but it was very, very hard. What I found though was that I can, I, my coach found a solution for me and my parent or whoever you know, my other coach that had really bad knees or that had trouble with high impact workouts. And we found a solution for them that worked. Maybe a different workout like 21 Day Fix or Pio that's very gentle on your joints might be something that can work for you because both of those workouts you're able to do at, at a, you know any fitness level. What do you think? Or something like that. So I would always, and, and chances are if you are a Beachbody coach or even if you're a brand new coach, um, you have felt those things, you know, like when I first started drinking Shakeology, the first two days I was extremely nauseated and it was just, my body was not used to it. And I just had the wherewithal where I was like, I'm going to stick to this. I know it works. Like if, if I'm nauseated for a week, I'm going to have to start figuring something out, you know, but really it was just a couple days 
and I got over it and it, it went away. Um, you know, so that's another thing I can say. I totally get that. I had stomach problems too. Give it a week. What I found was that I just gave it like one full week. And by the end of the week, I lost four pounds in one week. And I was told my body was so much more used to kind of like the cleansing effects of that. Okay. So if that helps you guys, I feel what you're saying. I felt that too. But what I found after whatever, after I learned something was this. So that's a really good way to, um, to deal with objections. Another way, if someone's just really ugly about it and is like, well, my friend told me this and that's just, I'm out. I don't want to do it. You know, my friend told me that there were bad products in Shakeology, which is not true. And we know that not to be true. Um, and it's very easy to get in your mind, like, whatever, bye, bye, Felicia, bye, girl. Um, but you don't need to do that. You have to remember that this is not for everyone. And all you can do is present the value. So what that means is you need to get knowledgeable on our products. You need to, anything that we, we put out. For example, this July 2015, we're launching the, um, um, I don't know why, where my mind is today, but we're launching the uh, performance brand of supplements through Beachbody. I can tell you right now there's another company, network marketing company, that is called ID Life that has very similar brand of products where it's like, you know, post-workout, while you sleep, um, pre-workout. It's like the whole kind of brand. I have already seen friends that work for that company downing Shakeology and downing Beachbody. That's okay. I believe in our product. You should believe in our product, but I believe in it, you guys, because I do my research. I had somebody in my challenge group say to me, like, what's the difference between AdvoCare Spark and e, e A lot. There's a big difference. I looked up the nutrition labels. I looked up that Spark literally did not have a single study that said that it did anything good for anybody. It had one study with college athletes where it acted as a placebo, like no change in their ability or anything like that or their energy or their endurance. Um, so I shared that with them. I'm not going to post that on Facebook. Hey, by the way, AdvoCare Spark, not all it's cracked up to be. But if someone asks for my opinion and confidence and in a, a controlled group, I'm going to say, this is what I found about that company. You know, um, I'm also going to say, you know, the difference in nutrition facts. Somebody asked me about Thrive. Thrive has a lot of, it's basically like a caffeine patch. Of course, you're going to feel like ready to go when you've got a bunch of caffeine rolling through your bloodstream. Um, you know, that's not what we promote. I will say in Annie, there is caffeine in it. But there's also lots of different natural products that like get your energy levels going, get your serotonin going, that kind of stuff. Um, in AdvoCare, it's just pretty much caffeine and like B12. Um, so you, people get to pick and choose. People get to look at all these things. Be a product of the product. Be knowledgeable about the product so that when people ask you, you can say, I don't know about Thrive or I don't know about AdvoCare. This is a better way to do it. <laughs> unless you know them really well. But what I do know about my brand is that it's mostly all natural, is that you get this, is that here's the results, can I show you a video? Is that X, Y, Z? I did have somebody say, can you compare it for me? And I will do that, it was on private message, so I compared it, I didn't say like, so that company sucks, I just basically was like, so it's up to you now, here's the differences between the two things that I've researched, it's totally up to you. Um, you know, and that way you're also building confidence with your potential customer or coach because you're not telling them what to think. You're just giving them an information and you're being a source of information for them. Um, like that takes time for me to go research about Thrive or ID Life or another company, you know, but I'm going to do it because the next time somebody asks me, I want to know what to say. So those are my tips, guys, for overcoming objections is just think about that feel, felt, found I feel, I feel ya, I feel ya. I felt that too. What I found was blank. Um, and then also be a product of the product and be knowledgeable about the product so that you can tell people what you love about the product. Um, if you want to get some really good nuggets about Shakeology and why it is so amazing for your health, I'm going to put a link below, but follow Shea Stanford. Um, she is a top, top coach. I think she's a superstar diamond coach. Um, and she is just kind of like, the thing, like she is the girl on Shakeology benefits and why they're so important. So she's got a lot of videos on YouTube. You can find them. You can type in Shakeology Shea Sanford and it's S-E-A-Y Shea Sanford. 
um, and you'll find them there and that will really educate you guys very well. So those are my tips. I hope that they helped you guys and I'll see you in the next video of our training. Bye.